So what's up guys, this is time to do a comparison of the CSTR, Continuous Steer Tank Reactor, and the PFR, which is the Plug Flow Reactor. And we're going to use the problem we've been using before, if you have no idea of the problems, please check out. I made a video of how to size for a CSTR and how to size for a PFR, and essentially something like this. The reaction is A, turns into B, the flow rate is... The initial flow rate is 0.4 moles of A per second, and I think it's everything. And we got the table with a rate of reactions versus conversion. Now, I'm substituting everything here. I got these conversions right here. I calculated this number here divided by the rate of reaction, which gave me these numbers. And I'm going to calculate the volumes involved in CSTR and the, vol the volumes of PFR. So the ones of CSTR are very easy because they are, once again, done algebraically. So I got this value, and I got this value, which is this column right here, and this one here. And uh, yeah, essentially this time this, zero, this time this, gives me this, and so on. So I got the volumes of CSTRs. Now the interesting part comes into the PFRs. These are integrals. So once again, I pop up this table I just done in the PFR problem. And I got these volumes here, volumes here, volumes here, and volumes here. So I just made sure that they are correctly assigned. This is for 20%, this is for 40%, this is for 6%, and this is for 8%. So, and of course, zero is zero. So I just dropped them here. And yeah, they make sense, they are similar, and typically as the PFR, given this rate of reaction, is a little bit less. So yes, let's continue. Let's do it more graphically, because numbers, I like them a lot, but graphics are everything. So, let's say PFR at a conversion of 0%, well, you have nothing. Then at 20%, you get this area here. You should also include this. This will be at 20%. Now include, make it bigger, 40%, 60%, 80%—that's the total volume. If you were to calculate the volumes, you will only calculate the, that area. Very nice. Okay. Now let's calculate the CSTRs. So for a 0% conversion, you will have no volume. For a 20% conversion, you will have that volume. For a 40% increases, and then it still is a rectangle, and the 80% rule goes up. So of course, sorry about that, if you compare these volumes, you always have an excess. So for example, this part right here is the excess. This part right here is an excess. This part right here, it's also an excess. Excess. And as you can see, obviously, this part, actually, I, I don't even know if I'm right or drawing it, but this is also an axis. And why, why is it so? Because of the rate of reaction or the shape it takes. So just take care. You will have a different shape of reaction, like someone like this. You will have lower, uh, rate of, uh, lower volumes for CSTR and higher volumes for PFR. But this is not the case, and I just wanted to show you how the area under the curve in this case is slower than the rectangle of these ones. And as you can see, uh, we've stumbled upon these slides. We are done with this section number two, and we will continue with section three, which is essentially uh, reactors place in series, uh, which is very, very cool. So see you in that video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, 
why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.